I'm going to do just a quick video on, I went to the farmer's market today and I just wanted to make pesto. Um, so I got some nice basil and I just want to show you how easy it is. We're going to make pesto and then sun-dried tomato pesto and it takes absolutely no time. Um, before I got on, I toasted some pine nuts in a pan uh, just until it kind of smells like popcorn. And that's pretty much it. Then we're just going to rip this basil up. Throw it into a food processor. A food processor is pretty important, unless you want to be old school and do it in mortar and pestle, but that, there's no reason. Um, but yeah, and then I use this as a condiment for pretty much everything. Uh, you can use it on sandwiches, you can use it in pasta, you can pretty much put it on anything. But yeah, just strip back the basil. You notice that's a lot of basil in there. It turns into absolutely nothing. Then I'm gonna use half of these pine nuts and put them in here. Um, I'm going to sprinkle in a little bit of lemon juice that I squeezed. Um, I'm going to save a little bit for the next one, but uh, yeah, just about half of a lemon. Um, my secret to my pesto is this is Pecorino Romano, not Parmesan. I know that Parmesan is traditional, but I grew up with Locatelli cheese, and so I, uh, I use uh, Romano. So I put a good amount. That's like, I don't know, I'm going to say three quarters of a cup. Uh, in there, and then you're gonna slap this on. Oh, salt and pepper. I want that definitely. There's some salt, and then a little bit of pepper. And how good does this basil smell? It smells good, right? Delicious. Yeah. Chris McCleary wants to know what is basil. What is basil? <laughs> Chris McCleary. Oh, mom's watching. Yay, mom. Okay. Now, I'm gonna pulse this and not, uh, not just turn it on and let it go. Because if you turn it on and let it go, everything shoots to the side. If you pulse it, it's like imagine if you put like, let's just say M&Ms and popcorn, and you shake the bowl and you try to get everything up. If you pulse it, it jumps in and you can, you can kind of blend it up better. But um, if you just turn it on, it all shoots to the side. Okay. Kirsten now, says Shannon is allergic to pine nuts. You don't have to use the pine nuts. That's just traditional to use pine nuts, um, but you can do it completely without, and I've done it without because pine nuts are very expensive now. Um, you could do it also with, um, to make it cheaper, you could do it with walnuts, um, or you can do it with pecans or anything like that, or pecans, depending on how you say it. Um, all right, that's blended up a little bit. Now I'm gonna stream some olive oil in and turn it on. And you'll notice start to get thicker and thicker and thicker and it's a good amount of oil. Now as it's getting thicker, you'll notice some on the side. I'm gonna take a little spatula and I'm gonna push it all down. You can uh, shoot from the top if you want to see the color. Oh. There it is, right there. Um, but you'll notice the lemon is kept it nice and green, 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 green. Um, okay, put that back on. I did not put garlic in here because I'm being very nice to my other castmates um, so that I don't smell like garlic. You can add garlic into this. I would add one clove, literally one clove is potent because it's raw garlic. Um, but that's it. There's pesto right there. That's the first one. Now I want to do some taste it just to make sure. Yeah, it's ridiculous. It's so good. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to empty this into a bowl. Um, yeah, I'll be right back. <laughs> Yummy. What are you going to do with the um, sun-dried tomatoes? Yeah, I'm going to um, empty most of this into a bowl. Now we're going to make sun-dried tomato pesto at the same exact time, but what we're going to do is not clean the bowl. And I'm going to use some of the pesto that's left over in this food processor uh, in the sun-dried tomato pesto. So, see, I left about that much. Because the rest of this is going to go into like a mason jar. Put that back on. I love you too, Kirsten. That is the regular pesto right there. And then I'm going to now, I soaked these uh, sun-dried tomatoes in a little bit of olive oil just to kind of reconstitute them a little bit. Um, but I'm putting in a whole bunch of sun-dried tomatoes. That's like two packets, uh, some more pine nuts. Shannon, you don't have to put the pine nuts in. A little bit of lemon to brighten it up. Again, salt and pepper. That's about enough. 
It smells delicious. Yeah, right? You should taste that. That's really good. Jamie says, Master Chef. Jamie? Mm -hmm. uh, Signs. Oh, yay. And then again, Pecorino Romano. Chris says, me, AJ, Kirsten, Colin, and Shannon are all in the Royal Palm watching. Oh my God, that's amazing. That's amazing. <laughs> okay, put this back on again. Pulse it up. Take a little bit to chop down those sun dried tomatoes. But you'll see it start to come together just like that. And once it does, start streaming in olive oil. a lot of olive oil. It uses a lot of olive oil. And that's it. And so this is the sun-dried tomato pesto. Mm. Yeah, it's really good. So you got sun-dried tomato pesto, regular pesto. What did that take me? It took me six, I'm looking at the cell run. Took me six minutes, 45 seconds, something like that. And this will last at least a week. Put it in a, in a mason jar, something that uh, not a lot of air, top it with a little olive oil, and you can spread it on sandwiches and all that kind of stuff. So enjoy guys, see ya.